Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 397, I think that's the right number, of the Maritime Paintball Podcast. My name is Brad O'Dell, and with me, as always, is... Your king of paintball, reminding you that good sex is great and all, but great coffee... Divine, baby. <laughs> nice to have you here, buddy. Nice to be back. Yeah. Happy Friday. It's nice. It's, it's happy Friday. We're going to have a nice, relaxed show. We're going to... We're gonna, Regular show. We have show. no guests lined up. We've got a... The regular show. We've got a couple of things uh, planned to talk about, but it's going to be nice and easy. Um, my voice is in rough shape. I've got a brutal, brutal cough that I cannot shake. So bear with me um, as I uh, struggle through it. So Well, while you struggle through it, I am going to remind all of our fine folks that are listening, watching, and paying attention that Moncton Paintball is still the home of the king. My forest is growing the word is from the grounds master that it's coming along soon. We should be ready to rock and roll. Um, usually it's usually after Mother's Day. Hopefully we get some dry weather. Uh, they're going to be running the street ball June 15th. If you know what street ball is, kick ass. If you don't know what it is, mix and match, think, think uh, pick up basketball. We, ma- we mix and match all the teams. We run a tournament. There's prizes. There's delicious food. Mama K is coming out, Bradley. You know she's going to be there with that Mac Daddy. And she's going to feed, and of course, mm-hmm. the big parm waiting for me on the back of the truck because she loves me, and I pay full mm-hmm. price. Do, do, do. Ah, the Rip Kings. A decade of decadent smoke popping because they pop the best smoke in town in, uh, in the town of Fredericton. Please don't forget to use the best promo code around, Big Black Sam. Also, they've got a really good selection of hand-blown glass, custom shit. So if you want to go and find yourself some really nice glassware... I don't just mean uh, glassware. I mean, he can make just about anything if you ask him and you pay him enough. Because that's what he is. He's he's a businessman. You You can get a really, really cool multifunctional uh, vase made. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, he does some like, I really like his work. Ninja paintball. Ubiquitous in paintball. We've all used it. We've all had some stuff hanging around with the Ninja logo on it. I've got something behind me I'm going to be talking about in a little bit that's got some Ninja stuff attached to it. So uh, that's going to be a little fun conversation. Charles, we'll see you on Sunday, buddy. Looking forward to seeing you. We miss you. I don't. I saw you this morning at Tim Hortons. It was dope. I saw him walking in. I'm like, who that? Mark Muzzarell is asking about mixed teams on yes, June 15th. They, it is mixed teams. They mix everybody. You'll get your intermediate, your experienced players, your rookie players, and your semi-pro players. And we kind of just throw them all together and kind of make a balanced, fun day. Street ball's not about, uh, really not about the prizes. It's about going out, bringing new players to check speed ball out, and just to have fun. Um, yeah, it's going to get a little competitive, but um, a little competition doesn't hurt anybody. That's right, Cameron. I hope you're coming out, baby. We love when I love when you bring your brother in law to street ball. That was so much fun last year. <laughs> Speaking of June, Commandos D Day, the biggest party in Canada, the best big game that I've been to. There are some really good ones that I want to attend, but D Day is the one that really holds my heart because Miss Marie takes care of us and takes care of all the ballers who go out there for all the kick ass events. This year, they've got ourselves a tattoo booth. I've got the tattoo, and I'm going to ask them to do it. I am really looking forward to putting some fresh ink on this beautiful body of mine. Um, I don't think they're doing the mechanical bull, but there is an 80. They are. Fuck off. The mechanical bull's back. Boys, if you weren't there last year and saw my boy riding that mechanical bull, it was some funny shit. You definitely, definitely want to do that. I would pay to see Charles ride a bull. Um, (laughs) I'm just saying I wouldn't pay for him to go to Ottawa, but I'd bring him with us. I like Charles. But that being said, the tattoo booth, the food trucks, the people, the wolf, the nightmare, all of the famous people that you come to love in Canadian paintball, we're going to be showing our faces there, and I'll be hanging around too. So, I mean, take that for what it's worth. You definitely want to be there. June 2nd, that weekend is going to be a party. There's the big game. There's a false There's a false king that comes. He's going to have to get slapped down. Also heard rumors that said False King is starting a podcast of his own. Mm. I love him. I hope he does. I really like... Yeah, I hope he does. I love... No, I'm (laughs) fucking with him. I love the stuff that he puts out on Facebook. I love watching the C1D stuff. Um, 
I'll totally I'll totally put on my put it on my list to watch because they're great they're great fellas. Promo code Nightmare PB. Fuck it, find a place to use it. Um, Cat the Canadian cunt has got an embroidery machine, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen some mm-hmm. really cool stuff coming out of that cunt's house, and I can't wait to to have some of it on we, my uh, face, on my gun, on my head. We uh, we we should talk to Cat and maybe do a see if we can get a limited a limited run of headbands. Just saying. And if you're watching and you know who you are and you decide to take my idea again, <laughs> I'll know. <laughs> you, you bitch. Um, NME <laughs> and their world-renowned joust being held on the 23rd of June. I'm going to be there. Bradley's going to be there. We're flying in to have a party with some of the coolest people in Ontario. We hope that you can get there. I was all surprised. It's only an hour and a half from Toronto. Turns out everything's an hour and a half from Toronto. The stupid Maritimer strikes again. Mm -hmm. Now, local news, because we're talking about everybody else. Local news. Go to Hillsborough. Go support Aaron. Go buy some of his paint. Go play airsoft out there. Do something. Bring somebody out there. We went out. There's an awesome field. Great folks. Um, That field needs more love. And again, we got we to gotta get that love going in the Maritimes and get everybody out partying at every field. Sunday, speaking of every field, our strange cousins, who we do love because we all have that cousin that's kind of weird, yep. is the C word against community standards. I am not using the C word, Mr. Neb. I'm using the K word. Cunt. <laughs> so, um, AXP is holding their airsoft open season opener. Word is it's going to be big. Word on the block is there's going to be a lot of cool people showing up and a lot of fun. Um, I don't discriminate against everybody. Put that, make that big, Bradley. Make that last one big. Neb's saying good things because he's right. Everybody should have a Canadian cunt on their head. If you don't, ladies and gentlemen, call Cat. She will fucking get you one because even in the United States of America, Canadian cunts rule, rule above all. AXP. You know what I just realized? What? I've said cunt like 18 or 20 times in the last like 10 minutes. Yeah, and it's, we may run into a, a road bump with that in the future. Yeah, yeah. We might, but that'll be, that'll be a, I'll burn that bridge when I get there. <laughs> we'll find a way. Oh, I will. I can burn, I can, I can burn, way. I'll burn a steel bridge if I have to. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Thermite's cheap. I was saying in the pre-show that everybody's got Ninja Paintball gear. Don't forget Ninja Paintball. They've got some really cool stuff. I think they've got some nice sales on right now. It's that time of year. Uh, dun, 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 well, dun. Ninja, you um, hmm? you can't buy direct from Ninja. Mm-mm. But you can buy it from my friend, the Paintball Wizard. And mm. you could even use the promo code Big Daddy G at DEFCON Paintball. See what he can hook you up with. It might, it, it might work. I'm positive that code still works. Big Daddy G wouldn't do us dirty. Yeah, no, no. It's depending on the product. The Some pop. of the products he's not allowed to. Oh. Some of the products they're not allowed to use discount codes on. Oh. Part of the vendor. Oh, contract. well, that's also so. because. Big Daddy G says so. Yeah, because, yeah, that's exactly. It's subject, much like the promo code Big Black Sam. It is subject to Big Black Sam and Big Daddy G. Andrew Gang O was there last Friday. Lunched Friday. Lunt fret. What is Lunt? I don't know. I lost it. But he must have heard me yep. talking about him. So. <laughs> he was at PP. Oh. Uh, PP was at some great store. Man, I, I really enjoyed talking to him. He was cool shit. Like, those yep. guys are really, that guy's really, really cool. I'm looking forward to getting down there at some point and meeting them. Because they're just really, really friendly people. Hmm. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Again, I keep going back. AXP, Airsoft Open. There's a lot of people coming. Uh, anybody who needs gear, try and get in hold of Chuck. Um, he's running low from what I heard on rentals because busy, busy, busy. Mm-hmm. That's good. Because mm-hmm. Bradley mentioned to me just uh, today while I was at work that it's almost time to start talking to CMC. So It is. 
I am going to extend the the invitation to our Airsoft brothers and sisters. Join us. Come out and play. You're inviting, you were so kind to invite us to your party. You come to our barbecue. It's a different flavor. It's a little different. It's a little more rustic, but we want you there because we're not going to make the world of combat sports bigger by dividing ourselves more. That's going to be pretty well my harping point for the next year is I want to see all of us getting along and getting more out there, more fields and more goodies. More is better in this case. Absolutely. And I think I really I think both sides have something to learn from each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think absolutely. I think there's uh, there's something to be learned from both sides. So come hang out. Come play. Oh, rain or shine. I know there's going to be nut bags mm-hmm. out there ready to play. Um, I want to see them. I, I want to meet these people. I don't want to see the nut bag. Oh, well. yeah, yeah. For the right price, I guess 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> Speaking the twenty bucks in nutbags, Alexander. I saw Alexander Cameron. Hey, buddy. Is this what it will take to make make Fed players good? You know what? I bet you some Mag Fed players went out and played some airsoft. They might fucking learn a thing or two. It goes both ways. I think but... so. I also think airsofters could benefit from coming and playing some speedball. Oh, hundred percent. 100%. Yep. The honor and I think Magfed system, players could learn from playing some speedball too. But we were playing right. Honor System a couple weeks ago. It's not much different on when you're playing winter ball and you're playing bounce ball. And I wait. No, for sure. And if we're going to divide, if we're not dividing anybody, reball players, you can come too. Just keep those dirty balls at home. Look, I want those in my gun. People. I want those going through my, my, my new gun. Like, that's bad, 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 bad. Um, Magfed players do learn a lot. Um, Snake. At Moncton Paintball, he was a dedicated MAGFED player who shit on space guns, and I'm pretty sure he traveled to uh, to Ontario to play in a tournament. He did. Guys. I remember him getting not heated, but definitely a little little uppity uh, about how speedballers are this, that, and the other thing. And then you, we got a space gun in his hand, and he played a match, and suddenly he was just like, "I don't know what you guys are talking about. I never said any of that stuff." Oh no. No, I, I, I remind him regularly that he's a bitch. Yep. I'm getting messages from like all sorts of people who are sending me cool messages, cool information, cool news. So Excellent. speaking of cool news, um, I got a package today. Yes, you did. I got a really fucking cool package. Wasn't expecting it. I get home from work. I hop in the shower. I'm just, I got my, my I'm just getting in the shower my phone goes off. I look down and all it says is, did you get it yet? Get it. The fuck well, you talking you? about? And I turn around, I look on my front door and there's a FedEx sign saying you missed a package delivery. And I was sad because if I didn't haul ass, I wasn't going to get this. So our friends at Nova Paintball, with the with the incentive of I sent a little bit of money to them because the fun part about <laughs> buying your own fucking toys is that when I review it, I can say what the fuck I want. The yep. problem is I got nothing to say. I won't play with my I, I want to go hunt crackheads. This thing is so you efficient should, on uh, air, it's uh, fucked. Like it is so efficient. We're gonna on air. Are we bringing that? We're bringing that Sunday. Oh yeah, I'm we'll take that I just wanted. I gotta test it. Like, yeah. I'm not, obviously, I'm not gonna be a douche nozzle, but I want to play with my new toy, and you gotta test yours well, too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that thing. The E Tech. The so E Tech Three. Toys to test out. Poor Amanda. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Oh, that sound. Oh, oh, and by the way, in case anybody from our fantastic sponsor Ninja. There you go, boys. <laughs> Port City Paintball. Thanks, Darren. For the shit. We love you. The good... Uh, the good. Darren's like a walking paintball library. He just lends shit out. Oh, I know. But he's also quite possible. The only person I could describe would be as, like... Like, that level of nice would be, like, Elise and Jacob. It's that mm. level of, like, this dude will give you the shirt off his back and the fillings out of his teeth if you ask him. 
So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we love him. Uh, TJ, Nova Paintball, thank you guys. Uh, you guys hooked me up with some really cool shit. The gun is is beautiful. My crown is just that is going to clap cheeks. And there's that trigger's got so little pull on it that uh, that is the Odin. Because the a king, four. a king needs to is only can be usurped and be only is only only brought to you by a god. And the N four Odin is a gun fit for a king. So thanks, TJ. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. That's going to be fun. So I'm still going to get my ass kicked Sunday. I'm wearing my mask. I'm going to get the shit knocked out of me. Those airsofters are going to run circles around me. I'm I'm excited to see the difference um, in mentality and play style when, when you have people who are traditionally airsoft players going up against people who are traditionally paintball players. Because we... It's... They're similar, but they're different sports. It's like football versus rugby. They're close enough, but they're different enough at the fundamental level. So I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Charles and I were talking about that exact thing um, today in terms of style, whereas a paintballer or speedballer is going to hug going to hug the bunker. He's going to watch mm-hmm. that corner. Airsofter or magfed player is not going to do that. They're going to watch your head come out. And they're going to try to put one right between your eyes. You're not going to see it coming. Um, right. So what I'm gathering, what I'm hoping, Charles kind of said that they play like me. They just fucking shoot and they walk out. So I'm going to guess that if I don't call my hits, they're going to keep shooting me. And that's fair. But that means I can do the same thing to them. Um, and you know, I, I want to go home with some I, fresh wounds, baby. I need some. I need some. I've, I've watched. I've watched plenty of airsoft videos yeah. and what I've noticed in a lot of them, and it might just be Neb. the ones I've been watching Neb. is uh, that they, a lot of them tend to do what Meg fed paintball players do is that they, they you'll see like eight of them stack up on a corner that only needs one. Um, some of them will kind of like take their time, like cutting the pie and one, and they, you know, they're very, they're very tactical. They're very methodical. And then when you power slide past them on your knees, screaming Leroy Jenkins, they don't know what to do until you, <laughs> until you run into that one asshole who does. Because there's always no, exactly. one so of those what, peckers running around there with a saw. I'm, I'm, that's the thing is, I'm, I want to. I'm excited for this because it's a different dynamic, yeah. and it's it's going to be something I don't know what to expect. Because realistically, I go to Moncton. Um, or even commando, and I can kind of look at a player and go, "Okay, I know what your play style is. I know what to expect." Yeah. I see also, you. the other thing to take into account is engagement distances. Paintballers are trained to engage at closer range than airsofters are. We are. We naturally try. We're going to naturally. <laughs> you and I are going to naturally try and get closer because we're so used to eyeballing a paintball shot. But airsofts, they the BBs travel further. Yeah, but I'm wondering because Charles telling me he's got a shotgun. So that mm-hmm. means there's some some bitch who's running around with a shoddy. There's guys running with pistols. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know that's why I'm, I saw one. It like, was like um like an Uzi, one of the old. See, that sounds fun. Like, it's it's, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be a blast. Um, it's I think it's and 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 we're going to have a ton of fun. Alex, uh, um, basically liaising. Scotia, liaison. we're playing at yeah. AXP, which is. The Atlantic Extreme Paintball, the successor to the legendary Memram Cook Paintball. This is their successor. This is the place that's going to make it even bigger and even better, because we got we got Chuck, and Chuck is really enthusiastic. He's really this is it. He's waited four years. He built his ass up to make this big. It's going to be awesome. So you, when you come home, I'm gonna play it, Skater. You know we're going to be there. Mm-hmm. You know we're going to be there. Uh, I, I can't miss D Day. Absolutely, absolutely. That's so. We've got we've got the airsoft event happening this Sunday, which is going to be a good time. And then uh, when it's April, May, May. There's an event in May. Uh, paintball uh, for kids. Paintball for kids. Which yes, we are going to try it. I'm going to try like hell to go. That one is. Yeah, um, same. That one's near and dear. I'm. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Um, 
Today, two years ago, I lost my sister. So fuck cancer. I'm gonna have Brad put up the uh, put up the the numbers again. My sister's raising money once again for um, a bursary for grade twelve kids in the local Moncton area, trying to get kids to go to university. It's a, it's something small, but uh, it's something that was near and dear to my sister Jean's heart. So uh, we're gonna put that. I'm gonna have him put that up because. Any money that's going to go to this is for a good cause. Same thing with paintball for kids. I love those guys. Um, the IWK does some great work. Sick kids. Nobody wants a sick kid. That's fucking scary. He's had sick kid. I've had a sick kid. Not Thank God he never had to go there. But my nephew did. No one wants that. So any money that can go to um, a good cause like that, I'm there to support them in any way I can. Um, yeah, we're lucky that our... My daughter's specialist who works in the IWK runs a clinic mm. in New Brunswick. Right. So we only had to travel an hour to the clinic rather than driving the four hours to the IWK for her, for her appointment. So, um, yeah, money to the IWK, hands down, 100% all the time. Let's go. Just like yeah. always, 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 always. Uh-uh. 100%. Because, and, and, and like it, it takes a sp- special kind of doctor to go to a place like the IWK. Did you see that? Like, see what? What did I see? Scotian's coming home. Yeah. I didn't fucking know he was coming home. Look, I knew eventually he was coming home. I figured it'd be like the summer or something, not May. That's awesome. I mean, May's Yay. basically the summer. Come on now. Here? It's like spring here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. There's snow on the uh, ground yes, in May half be. the time. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, so we'll have Scotian home for uh, for paintball for kids. It's going to be awesome. I, I'm pumped for paintball for kids. That's going to be such a good game. It always is. And as right. what I've said every year, though, once. Yeah. I'm climbing yeah, that hill once. once. We'll walk up that hill once. And I'm sitting at the top. Ponage PB. My goodness. Green Dave. How I miss you. Can't wait to see him again. Oh, a pleasure to see um god damn what else what else i'm going to looking at my list of my list of good things here hillsbro axp we're still talking big june game big game in june end end of june they're going to be uh running something out in axp charles has been talking about it. it's going to be hot and sexy uh aren't we in aren't we at the joust at the end of june week after yeah, your June is fucked. I think the only yeah. weekend I don't have us, we don't have something booked is uh, June 7th. Poof. Uh, I just checked the calendar here. It's going to be tough. Yeah, yeah. D-Day, nothing. I have Street Ball on the 15th, NME the 23rd, Chuck on the 30th. Oof. I am going, Should my body tough. is going to be a temple of pain oh and then on the 25th i go back to work hopefully uh sling and mop for the summer <laughs> so i'm just gonna be on my feet it's gonna be awesome mm. i might lose another 20 pounds I can yeah i was gonna say you're gonna waste away to nothing there buddy uh it's it's getting a little unsettling oh i know i've told him about my, the mark weber game i know i've told oh, yeah. mark weber Every time I say Mark Weber, got to take a drink. So every time we see Weber, we're going to have to have a smoke because I can't drink that much. Mm, well, hopefully Eric comes out on Sunday, Charles, because he would have a lot of fun with those guys. I think he'd have a riot with those guys, the, especially the military lads. I'm with you on that one. I think so as well. Um, I had somebody advise me that I had to start practicing my snapshots for mm-hmm. uh for the joust because word mm-hmm. is there are some of the best players the best players that's all i've heard the, i don't the, i didn't get an exact where who but the words i've heard is champions i've seen that word used by them and that's frightening mm-hmm. i'm gonna get my ass kicked it's gonna be so much fun that's fine. It's it's going to be like it's all it's going to be is that we're going to be podcasting from uh, from enemy, 
and then it's going to be like, all right, it's your time up, and then we're going to get up, and then we're going to get taken out within 15 seconds, and we'll go right back to podcasting. Like, <laughs> Honestly, if we can find a way to mic me up during the game. I can do that. You're doing some editing. We can do that. There's going to be editing because you're going to have heavy breathing. <laughs> it's not even cursing. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> At this yes, point. yes, we can definitely do that. We could definitely mic you up for uh, <laughs> fucking, the one one. We can imagine micing me up on D Day. Oh God! You'd never. There'd be nothing usable. Be no, nothing, nothing, usable. nothing at all. It would just be heavy breath. Actually, it's funny. There was a there was a time back uh, a couple of years back. Uh, Brian, our buddy Nightmare, put out a video on YouTube, and uh, he didn't edit out his breathing. So this was back in his, he was still learning how to edit his videos smoothly and whatnot, right? And somebody chirped him on, um, on YouTube, basically being like, dude, like you need to work out harder. You're breathing that heavy. And it's just like, Ooh, that's <clears throat> not nice. Oh, La Fleur's steamed hot dogs in Montreal. I have been told I have to go there this week. Screw the ellipticals. Start with light stretching. That's right. Neb. I, I used to laugh at the old dudes stretching it before a game of paintball, and now I'm one of the old dudes going, I gotta stretch my shit out of here because yep. as soon as I take I, off uh, that line, I'm down for a weekend. So there's a, there's, it's um, just, you know, being that guy. Um, there's a gym down the road that I've decided that now that I can financially handle it, I, I'm going back because I miss lifting. I used to lift back in the day, and I miss doing it. So I'm going back to it. Um, and I'm going to see if, uh, if they'll, because it's a 24 hour gym, mm -hmm. I'm going to try and like aim to go when they're closed and see if I can bring in, um, uh, and talk to the owner, obviously, and see if I could bring in my paintball marker and like practice like stretches and snap shooting and whatnot in front of the mirror. Cause I was talking to, I cannot remember his name, but he started bunker Kings and he's, what he did is he put a line of tape on a mirror. And he would practice with that. Um, and it taught, it really taught him how to go really tight in. I was like, that's great. Because I don't have access to a field 24 hours a day, yeah. right? So I need to try to figure things out. So the young bloods I'm have, really uh, hoping. I saw the Youngbloods doing that. Yeah. A couple of them were. I... So yeah, Aww. there's there's some cool things I want to try and do. Your girlfriend uh, is oh. amazing, Retail. <laughs> you should be glad for her. Thank her for trying to keep your ass alive for another year for me to shoot you. 35 um, actually right there uh neb that's how my best friend lost his weight he started counting carbs because the dude's uh he's real he's number oriented so he counted mm -hmm. his calories he figured out exactly what he needed and then mm -hmm. whatever he needed after that he just biked and i watched this dude go from wearing a 40 waist and he's down to a 34 now wow. boy is fucking awesome. trim and sexy and uh nice. You know, I ain't, and I wish I was talking about me. I couldn't fit in a 34. Like the last time I fit in a 34, I might have been fucking 12. Right. Yeah. I'm lucky for a 38. Um, right. So I got. Okay. Now that's. A okay. Year. A diet's kind of cruel, I guess, but. Yeah. Eat what you want. Just don't eat too much of it, I guess. Um. So we've got enemy. So, or sorry, we've got the airsoft at AXP, and then we've got D Day. D Day is the first one in June, mm -hmm. and then it's enemy. But so D Day, uh, folks, if you are going, uh, if you're pre-registered, hit up Intensity. Uh, intensity. I forget what the full name is. Intensity. Intensity Customs. Thank you, Intensity Customs, because they're gonna they're doing up a limited run. Uh, T-shirts for anybody who pre-registers for the D-Day event at Commando Action Center. Oh, no way. Um, I didn't so, know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hit them up. Uh, you're nice definitely going to want to get one of those shirts. And it's going to be uh, it's gonna be cool. I've seen the design. The design looks great. Um, they always make nice stuff. They really do. They really do. And uh, yeah. So Tonka. We're... Team Tonka. Are we playing for Tonka? I, I don't know. I don't know who the fuck I'm playing for. I don't know. Who the, I don't know playing for anymore um i just had lasik uh i had it last week and i am it's wonderful to be able to see um but again screens are still i still find like computer screens bright because i don't 
you're a designated sniper. Ah, okay. So now, so I'm not worried. I can walk anywhere I fucking want on D-Day. I'm definitely not getting shot. I, I believe we're playing for Tonka. I think we're going Axis. Cool. Oh, that's right. On the yeah. day of the game itself, yeah, we're going Axis. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm fighting. I'm fighting wherever they fight. Yeah, uh, and we got our we got Zach and the uh, uh, the big effing squad as well. They're going to be rolling with us. So and yeah, I think we're playing for Tonka, and because uh, we're gonna we're gonna I'll play for Tonka again. I like we we played Allied last year, and uh, and we won. So now we need to play Axis. Uh, because Tonka lost graciously last year. Um, so now we need to help him win graciously this year. So that's that's my logic. You know where I'm going to be. Right at the front. <laughs> right at the front, taking the first round of balls to the face. But I'm going to fucking be happy to do it in, in, the, name of, in, in the name of Sir... Of Sir Richard mm -hmm. of Avery. What else is going on? Looking around the world to uh, see uh, what is happening, what's new, what's well, hot, what's the, exciting. The joust at NME, mm -hmm. folks, if you're not registered for it, you should. Because it's more than just a paintball game. It's a party. Uh, also, we're going to be, we're getting hooked up. We're getting like, we're getting set up. We're, Dare we're I say we're, the royal we're, treatment? Casting. Mm. Dare Ooh, I we're say gonna be podcasting everything from the from the field? It's going to be glorious. Dare I say glorious? We're going to we're going to be <laughs> fed, housed. Um, some killer people are coming to it. They're coming to visit us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I, I can I be honest and say that the, I'm just excited to fly with cannabis. Right. I am going to have What's three. I don't uh, twenty eight grams an ounce. Nice. I'm just going to have. 15 one gram joints, George, and you can't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> Turns out you're not supposed to have any pot on you when you're on parole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so that's we're very excited for that. No comp. No comp. We pay our way. That's yep. my, my rule. And if they won't let me pay, they got to let me work. It's one of the two. I can't take something for free. That's bad juju. And that, yes. So we're, um, it's not a full ride. We're, we are, we're paying for our own flights. Nope. We are paying for the, uh, the lodging. We're paying for everything that we can get our hands on. And, uh, if they won't let us pay, well, then we'll figure it we'll out. We'll sprinkle some, I'll, we'll leave booze and drugs like, yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll, uh, what do they call it at Disney Island? Pixie Buster? <laughs> <laughs> what I'll do is I'm going to go out into the field and I'm just going to bury bags of dope out there. <laughs> I'll bury little joint bags over the field. No, 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 no. You hide them in pods, in empty pods. And then when guys go pick up the empty pods, they get dope. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the best way to get people to pick up pods on the field. Fuck. Oh my God, wouldn't it? Just tell them, like, tell them one in ten pods. Whoa, whoa. Have, a case have a and entry at adrenaline is nothing to sneeze at, Neb. And hot, absolutely. And if, are they good hot dogs? And do you have fresh hot onions? dogs? Not included. I don't care. I'll pay for a hot dog if it's if you got fresh chopped onions. Right, and mustard. I know. It's... Fuck it, I'll bring my own mustard. But the onions got to be fresh. Fuck chopped. it, I'll bring my own hot dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. I'll pay. I'll pay. <laughs> oh, especially if it's cooked in dirty water, like dirty dogs. Oh, buddy, fifty cent steamies. Back when, back when you could get a steamy for 50 cents inside the bar from oh, some guy that didn't speak English. Fuck, I missed that, man. <laughs> right? And he had the umbrella open even though it's 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that was usually my station, dude. I stood to the oh, right man. of the street meat cart, and I would smoke mm -hmm. and chat with the Lebanese guy, and we mm -hmm. would just watch the drunks beat the shit out of each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get a hot yeah, dog? I used to go to Boom. So I used to go to Boom, which was the gay night club. Man, my buddy Keith used to be a dance, a cage dancer there. See? Oh fuck yeah, Keith! So... Like Duncan. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> There's a cage dancer in Boom. I shit you not. Oh, an <laughs> oh, all beef hot dog grilled. That 
where the fuck's adrenaline paintball? When are we going? Man? Pa- pa- paint and hot dog. Right. I'll pay for the hot dog. It's really caramelized onions and hot peppers. Sorry, I'm just immediately getting a flashback to that one Simpsons episode where they're just Homer is just like, those are the the full bold flavors that you'd find in a place like Albuquerque. Yeah, the, the, iso- <laughs> the isotope dog. Yeah, the isotope dog. Dude, I want one of those in the worst way. The problem though with the isotope dog, you Simpsons lovers, you all know it, it is it's three distinct. It, it shouldn't be like it, it needs to be lengthwise. Adrenaline is out by London, Ontario, so it's an hour and a half from Toronto. <laughs> it's within an hour and a half of Toronto. Yeah. Um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, I used to go to Boom party at Boom, and then I'd go over towards Nikki Z's um, at the tannery, get like four fifty cent hot dogs, and sit there and just watch the the drunk army guys beat the hell out of each other oh yeah oh yeah because they come in from they didn't make it to moncton they 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 very no. seldom did and when the army bucks made it to moncton andrews no nah, no no it's where well yeah that's where the coke was so yeah speaking of, i guess there's another one opened up in st john angie's no well like another another like skin bar oh yeah yeah. In, in, yeah, opened up. In St. John? Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, the New Brun- <laughs> the Maritimes are so small that in three cities, there's three peelers, and it's of note. <laughs> we had we two, don't... and that's where, the sec- that's where like the Thursday morning D-line went. You didn't want to go there. It was C-section no. scars as far as the eye could fucking see. It was... Uh... Yeah, when yes, Fredericton did. had its North Star. We had we had one legged uh, dancer. I mean, we had we had the one armed one. She did the tour. Really? Yeah, she did the tour. Like uh, she go month okay, and she okay. go all the way up to to Quebec. She was she got very famous in Quebec. You know what? what you know what? The thing her? is, she probably made she probably made more money than either of us ever will. And doing the tour? Yeah. And wait, there's no peelers in Nova Scotia. Yeah, but you guys can't even have pawn shops half the time. Like you gotta have some weird. Laws. Yeah, no, there's no there's no peelers in Nova Scotia. No. no. No peelers, no peelers, no peelers, no pawn shops, no pot, no fucking, no vapes, no flavored cigarettes, shitty beer, shittier hockey, concerts that are 20 years out of date. But they do have this one really cool place called the Dessert Spoon, which uh, you have to follow their social medias and stuff, and they, they will release a password. Oh. And then if you if if you get the password and you go to the bar and you go to the bartender and you give them the password, they will just take you downstairs into the speakeasy. But you have to like go through the kitchen. I'm fine. To get to it. Oh, it's a speakeasy. It's fucking I cool. thought it was like a secret like dessert bar. I don't want the booze. I want like <laughs> I was really excited. I'm like, what? They're gonna take me in for a secret Sunday? <coughs> like, You're like, no, it's a speakeasy. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm fucking disappointed. <laughs> Anyways, we uh, well, yeah, Dustin. So... When we know when opening day is, we're gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Apparently, there's a speakeasy in Moncton. Interesting. Hmm. Really? I mean, there's a weed speakeasy literally across the street from the cop shop. That's awesome. Yeah. They serve yeah, desserts, but they do they do have desserts. Like it's it is like upstairs is like like sixties diner. Then you can go style. to the speakeasy and I'll get a five dollar shake. Unless I can get bourbon mm. in it. You know what I haven't had in a good long time is a good proper milkshake. I know where we can get one. When we go to D Day. Yeah. Yep. I know where we can get one. We're, I'm stopping there whether you like it or not, and I'm gonna drag turtle. Oh, there. Because I drug sure, you there. That's fine. We'll just make sure he's. We'll just stick him with a needle. Just, All right, buddy. Here's your milkshake. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> dude, eating smoked meat isn't gonna click your diabetes. No, no, but a five dollar milkshake is. But the five dollar milkshake. <laughs> Throw some milk car, might kill him. If we get him at the right time of the trip, it might kill him. Um... Fuck. <laughs> Uh, Dan, what's this? Uh, Brad, I seen you post about the EPPL. Are you playing more speedball this year? No. Fun um, fact, no. <laughs> no. 
No, I'm trying to find the best date to run the CMC on that it doesn't interfere with the OPL or the EPPL. Because we kind of want you peckers to play it this year. Yeah. Because I stand by that if those three arseholes had made a team, I think they could have taken it. Mm-hmm, I mm-hmm, think that the mm-hmm. th- that those three young bloods, if you gave them mag fed markers, I still say they could fucking they would have they would have won. I think so. Honestly, the, their play style, their aggressive play style, and way that they can communicate, would they would have dominated. Um, Chuck, I'm not gonna say that there's room in my truck or that I would make room for you. I'm not gonna say that. So, but if you showed up just before we left, OPL, you could probably make space. We're gonna get into OPL. Fuck off, Dustin. You're a good player. Delaware Speedway. Ooh. Gentleman's Club. Race car. Paintball. Then paintball. Okay, so we're going to go to London, Ontario, too? Like, God damn it. Apparently. Apparently. Race cars, um, peelers, and paintball. And I'll <laughs> skip the peelers. You all can go to that shit. I don't care about the peelers. But if there's race cars, God damn it, I am there. The peelers don't excite me. We can send somebody. We'll send Turtle. Right. Yeah, Turtle can go hang out with the Peelers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is almost worse. I was this, I was this close to hiring him a, a lady of the night. I know. I saw her. I was talking with Benny. <laughs> Benny and I were out sitting back, and we saw the lady of the night. And I was like, fuck, we should send her to see Jeppa. He'd have loved it. I'm, uh... Look at all. <laughs> we, I'm just thinking back to that night. We pissed him off. Poor man. guy. We, like we, he we... was really, really patient with us. And uh, for somebody who's never really traveled with his friends, he traveled with some wildly eccentric people. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're we're one step above getting in the van marked free candy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yep. And we took his ass halfway across the country. No, like um, a third of the way across the country when we I knocked him out third before he got out of New Brunswick. That was funny. That was funny. Yeah, we rocked the mired. I could handle it. Yeah. I'm uh yeah. So I think we might have just picked, so that, I think we might have just picked up a chuck. Okay. That's fine. As long as Chuck can deal with what happens in the truck. Uh what happens in the truck stays in the truck? Sure. Uh, why? The fact that the windows are, are rolled down the entire trip. I don't smoke that much anymore, so it'll be a little easier. True. It'll be a little less True. smoky, but uh, I'll still sm- I'll still smoke. I've got I've got better stuff now. Fuck <laughs> that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm real good shit. I don't fucking need it as much. Goodness, 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 goodness. goodness. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we've got those coming up and then we've got the regular games. Like we've got like our walk-ons and monked in, um, uh, we're going to try and get out to PEI at some point this year. Um, I don't know when August I'm trying July. I'd like to try in July because I don't think we've got a whole lot booked in July yet. August is going to be busy. It always is. July is always hotter than the fires of hell, but, um, mm. I would really, oh my God, Chuck is crazier than the two of us. I can't fucking wait. Yes. He has no fucking clue how fucking not scared I am. And I'm so excited. I want to this. I need it so badly. I'm, uh, visit Hyper. I would love to visit Hyper if you guys could make sure there's more than 15 dudes when I show up. The 15 dudes I'll that def- show up at Hyper are fucking awesome. Every one of them, I had so much fun running the speedball with them with the mag fed. That was my fucking, that was right out of my heart. But, um, damn. It's a long drive. It's a long drive for, for a, a short day ball, right? And it's not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be mean. I'm not, but it's, like, it's just, that's what happened when the, the two times we went. And you know. yes, we, we we drove a long way to hyper, and and there's too much downtime, not enough game time. Like we were running late, and we were done and set up and ready. 
um, it's, it's, it's before not meant anybody to be mean. You know that, Cameron, because those guys yeah. try really hard. They fit us in when they had like two bookings. Like they had two bookings going on and they fit us in. But it was still kind of yeah, a no, no, I absolutely. mean, I get how it's... they feel when they drive to Moncton and we have a, lo- a slow day at Moncton. Like I get it. So, but yeah, yeah, it's just it's that's the hard part, right? <laughs> um, so hopefully, hopefully, maybe this year, like I think things are, uh, I think things are picking up across the Maritimes. I think paintball is starting to pick up a little bit. Um, we're and we can't talk about it now, but Tom and I are working on a plan to help grow it, not grow it. Expand it? Expand it. Speed it up. Expand it. Give it a shot in the arm and one way. Yeah, kick in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't it's going to be fun. I'm so excited. I, yeah, I he's cannot been, wait to tell everybody what we're doing. Yeah, I know. He's trying not to. And he's, he's, he's. I've already told the gas man. The gas man knows. Oh, good. That's somebody you want to tell. We'll talk to Chuck after. He's going to like that. But I got to tell everybody. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't watched the first episode of Fallout, finish our show. You got about 10 minutes left. Go watch the first episode of Fallout because it's fucking amazing. It is. I it am, is good. Uh, I am not disappointed in the slightest. Uh, I was really, really pleased with it. And you know what I'm, I'm digging about the Fallout show is that you don't have to be an avid fan of Fallout even, to enjoy it. All you need to know is that it's a TV show. Sit down and watch it. It it, it walks you right through it. It's very accessible. No, that's what I mean. Like you don't like you don't need to be like heavy, heavy, heavy into like the background of Fallout or anything like that. You can literally drop in and just roll with it. Might I ask what you meant, Neb? What part did I miss? What effort does he mean? I think he's talking about us trying to expand. Oh, we want to. Ex- yep. Expansion is good. I just, I'm, I'm really like, oh, this is just going to be so much fun, Charles. I'm just, I'm looking forward. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. There's a lot of fun stuff happening. We've got, uh, we've got, it needs to Neb. We have, we have so much cool shit planned for 2024 that we can't talk about yet, but Chuck, we got to tell you, I think because you, I think, but you have to be able to keep a secret. I think Charles is going to like that that news. So do I. So, uh, PEI is definitely the vacation spot of Canada. Um, I am. But, it is my biggest shame in paintball right now. More so that I've never played Wasaga because that's like a pipe. That's like a fucking like a dream dream. But it is to my massive shame that I have not played Spikes. They've invited us for like three years, and I've. I'm gonna, you know what? This, we're so like well medicated now, and we're so focused. We'll put it on the plan mm-hmm. for this week. We're gonna get in touch with the boys at Spikes, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking like, I am on the medication that keeps the little voice in my in the back of my mind like the negative voice. It it keeps it quiet, and then you're on the medication that keeps all the other voices quiet. And <laughs> now we can actually get shit done. I have a singular voice now. <laughs> it's not 800 voices telling me a whole bunch of shit. It's one voice going. This is what you're doing. Do it now. <laughs> You'll only leave yeah. depressed. Don't go look at the Google Trends. Oh, no, well, don't fucking okay. look at Google Here's... Trends. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the cool thing about Google Trends. Fuck okay. Joe Rogan. <laughs> um, okay, check this out. If we type in paintball as a search term, okay, uh, let's look at over the last five years. Okay, we see ups and downs, right? Because you see it in the winter, it goes away, and then it comes back up in the summer, and then it goes back down. Okay. Um, actually, let's make it worldwide. Boom, that gives us a much better... So th- we, we do see a slight decline in how much the... But here's the thing about paintball, <laughs> is <laughs> if you... Fucking... <laughs> I love when he does shit like this. Like the man. Right. So hold on. Definitely don't do since 2004. Okay. But listen. So in the last five years, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. 
fine. You know what? I'm going to do 2004 to present. Okay, yes. It's trending down hard, okay? We're seeing, uh, you know, it peaked May of 2004, and then it goes down. So out of a – keep in mind, the way trends works is it's, it's a percentage. Mm-hmm. So we have 100% peak in 2004, and we see about 7 uh, as of right now. But um, if you type in uh, – if you type in just the word paintball – that doesn't really, it, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, you have to try full things because people don't Google one word anymore. People type in questions, full sentences, right? So you've got to try and expand on that. Also, do you know what the number one search engine of, uh, mo- of millennials and Gen Zs are right now? Alta Vista. TikTok. Hmm. Yep. Yep. So, uh, and... Uh, the number two cool. one of millennials is YouTube. They don't search Google. They search YouTube. I don't want a fucking three-word answer. I want to know how to fix my muffler. Exactly. Right? So it's it, it's different. You can't just go off of Google Trends. Uh, what I look at is things like the uh, the Summit Awards just happened. Tom Cole would not have put money into something like that if he did not see a future. Um, Nova paintball would not be coming back as fast and as hard as they are. If there was not a real future, we would not see Lux releasing brand new markers. We would not see things like this going forward if there was not money to be made. So if the fields around you are failing, it's because the fields around you are failing, not paintball itself. I want to go, I want to go play with it. It's so good. Like, <laughs> like, like, just the, the, the so light trigger. Like, it's just, it's beautiful. Like, this is, this is a beautiful fucking piece of hardware that I am going to have a very hard time fucking up. I think there's, oh, yep. um, Neb, I looked at the Hellion. I totally looked at the N2. Um, I, I, I really considered it for uh, a, a few minutes. I really did. Um, because I know it could keep up with any space gun out there. It, it, I fucking guarantee it. The Nova, the, the, the Hellion can absolutely keep up. The words 20 balls a second is not unfeasible, is not unfeasible with these guns. Maybe with, with the Hellion. This one, I don't know. But I know with the Hellion, it can be done. Um, the Dreadnought is absolutely wild piece of, of, of hardware that I really thought about. But the first time, and Brad remembers, the first time I saw it, I sent, immediately sent him a screenshot. I'm like, that's the one I'm on. And that was well over a year ago. So I can't wait. Mm-hmm. But I think we're going to end it there with that bombshell of Tom basically making love to his mouth. Oh, um, I've, I've got to go out and deliver bagels, and I kind of want to... I just... I used up the air, and I... It's me sad. I can't... <laughs> um, uh, Charles, Chuck, I'm going to shoot you a link. Uh, once we're done this, we need you in this call for a quick second so we can chat just for a hot minute, yeah. and then we'll... We'll carry on. But, folks, thank you so much for hanging out with us and chit-chatting and liking and sharing all that jazz. Truly appreciate it. Uh, keep an eye out. We're going to be uh, probably, if we can, if there's cell service, we're going to try and go live on Sunday. I don't know if there's cell service out that way or if there's Wi-Fi or anything like that. But if there is, we're going to try. If not, keep an eye out for the vlog. I'm going to try and shoot a vlog for this coming Sunday. Try to get back into that again. Uh, now that I have drugs that keep my brain um, less fuzzy. And I can make things happen. So, folks, it's been a blast. But thank you so much. Until next week, cheers. Hey, do yourselves a favor. Help control the mag-fed population. Spay or neuter your mag-fed player. <laughs>